Yo, what up, it's Don. Sam Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers, and today we're gonna give you a little versus video, highly anticipated. Um, it's gonna be the Brand Black J Crossover 2 versus the J Crossover 3. Yep. Let's hop in on this bitch, as okay. always, right on the bottom. Uh, let's start out with the two. Okay. So, um, uh, the twos have a, their signature blade traction. Um, it, the rubber is really soft. Right, compared to the threes, it's a lot softer. So I and think the grooves are pretty deep. Yeah, yeah. So it seems to be a lot uh, thicker too on this. Um, and but the traction is really nice, right? Um, you don't stop on the dime. Uh, if you feel it, you go like this, and then you slide a little bit. You yeah. Know? But you do stop, you know. Yeah. So it's, it's a nickel. Of... It's more of a nickel stop. <laughs> or or uh, a quarter. Yeah. You stop on a quarter instead of a dime. Yeah. You know. But anyways, yeah, the traction is really nice. It's hella squeaky. And uh, you rarely have to wipe on this, so um, yeah, the traction is really nice. I think uh, I would give these like a nine or a ten, you know? Right. Okay, what about you? Uh, this is a fully translucent outsole. They moved a little different direction, mm -hmm. uh, but they put blue, their signature blue, underneath, and then they put their brand black logo right, right on top of that. Uh, the, the grooves are a little more shallow, uh, but the material is a little harder. Uh, but the, the traction was also really, really good. Yep. You know, I, I would, uh, I'm not really even sure which way to go. They both have the same pattern. It's their, you know, signature multi-directional blade pattern. But I think the edge, the slight edge might go to the JC3s. Yeah, just because, so you do have to wipe on the JC3s more than the JC2s, but you stop on the dime on these, yeah. right? You, there's no sliding a little bit, you know? Right. So that's why we're giving the edge to the threes. The twos are still good though. Yep. All right, so let's move on to uh, a big change up here. Yeah. Which is the cushion. So in the JC2, what do we have? We have a Jetlong cushion. Uh, it's soft, res uh, yet responsive. Full There's length. A, yeah, full length Jetlong. And uh, you have good court feel. It's bouncy. You know, it's it's everything, right? And then the insole is really soft too. So, um, yeah, what about the JC3s? The JC3s, they moved on to something they're calling black foam which is supposed to have 40% more bounce and rebound than standard EVA, um, which is definitely better than EVA, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's as good as the J crossover too. Yeah. They reinforced it with this, what they call force vector. Uh, it's just a hard plastic. I think that kind of hinders a lot of the bounce and cushion. Mm -hmm. um, don't get me wrong. It's a nice kind of firm cushion. It reminds me of charged, uh, charged foam or even uh, micro G a little bit, mm -hmm. but you know, uh, yeah, the wind's going to definitely go to the J-Crossover 2. Yeah. Um, and we're kind of disappointed a little bit in that in the J-Crossover 3. And also, you do feel a lot, a lot lower in this yeah. than those. You feel a lot higher to the ground than those. Right. And how I tested it is I had one foot wearing this, and I had one foot wearing that. So. Right. <laughs> okay, so now moving on to the upper or materials. So starting off with the JC2s. The JC2s have a um, synthetic leather in the back right here. And then it's a, a knit upper, right? And the knit upper is really soft and pliable. I love how it feels. Um, uh, it, it's not very supportive in the toe area right here, especially right here, but it feels really, really nice. Right? Uh, what about GC3s? Uh, right here, we have a ballistic nylon for the upper, uh, military grade, supposedly it's used in military applications. It's really dope. It's really strong and sturdy, yet super pliable. Um, and you know soft on your toe it feels nice they reinforced it a little bit obviously in high wear areas um, and uh, but really the upper is super light super super strong materials so in uh, in the ankle they use a leather or synthetic leather I'm not sure 
mm -hmm. which one it is, but yeah. it's a leather type of uh, material, super thin, and it just adds a little bit of support and it attaches with this little button in the back. Mine yeah. kept on coming loose a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so materials wise, I don't know. Yeah, they're both really nice. I like the softness of this, but this is still soft, but it's not as soft. Right. Um, it, it, this seems to be more durable, but um, I don't know which material did you like better. I might have to give it a tie. Yeah, a tie, or I think I like the JC3s a little, a little bit more, yeah. just because the fit was way better than this, because this was a little roomy yeah. in the toe area. But yeah, let's just give it to this one, because I yeah. feel the same. Just barely, yeah, just fit barely. a little better, and wrapped around your foot a little bit better. Yeah. It's and off and was a little bit stronger yeah and was yeah, than the knit. stronger so, and more durable so you know? so yeah moving on to fit the fit here was really nice it was just a little bit roomy here um but in the jc3s the fit was amazing you know amazing. the support in the ankle is uh basically around the same a little bit more in in that because of the shroud if you have the shroud on but um and lockdown this gives you a little bit more lockdown too so yeah. um yeah i think the win for a lockdown Fit and support goes to the JC3s. Yeah, for sure. This is one of the best fitting shoes I've tried on yeah. since I can remember. Besides the Curry 2 and the Clutch Fit Drive. Yeah, too. when you step into it, it's the type of shoe you just want to wear. When you think of like going to put on a shoe, when you go to the gym, you're like, oh, I want to put the JC3s on. Yep. It just feels nice. Yeah, not saying this is a bad fit or anything like that. It's just this is better, you know? Also, the, uh, it, the, the insoles are really nice. Yeah. Really soft. Even under the insole, if you take the insole out, it's mm -hmm. there's like padding under that. Mm -hmm. So the step in comfort is is awesome. Yep. Um, and I would say the step in comfort is even better than than the two. Yeah. But that's yeah. not a really category that we really <laughs> even cover. But yeah, it's just just so you know, it's a super comfortable shoe. Yeah. Okay. So now moving on to durability, like we kind of covered already, the durability I think should go to this just because. For sure. Yeah. There, even though this is still a a woven kind of knit material, you know. Um, it's a lot stronger it feels like the knit and it has reinforcement right here uh, in the high wear areas and the rubber is harder on this so the durability goes to this it's another win for the JC3 yep okay okay so moving on to ventilation um, uh, this is a lot more ventilated right? yeah. there's a lot more airflow in it but not saying this is bad ventilation, but this is just better. Right. right? My foot felt a lot cooler in that. So yeah. um, if you guys care about ventilation, this is better. For sure. Win for the ventilation goes to the JC2, hands yep. down. Uh, let's move on to something that's our opinion, and that's aesthetics. Um, aesthetically, God, you know, I'm not really sure. I, certain colorways of the two I like better and certain colorways of this, but overall, I'm going to say aesthetically that. I like the threes. So what are we doing to call it a tie? Okay. <laughs> we'll call it a tie. Yeah. Um, aesthetics both really don't good really looking. aesthetics don't really matter performance wise anyways. Yeah. yeah. So um, uh, unless they're so ugly that it that it distracts the defender. Yeah. You can <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just kidding. Or sorry. it's so so they're so ugly that you're like, what the fuck am I playing in right now? <laughs> I must be garbage because I'm wearing these garbage shoes. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> both solid solid shoes. So let's wrap it up here. Um, most of the wins went to the JC3. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously this is the JC3 is the winner. However, if you were to hand me both of these shoes right now, I would take the JC2. Me too. Okay, and that just that just comes down to how important is cushion to you. And also like um, it, it, this one in the categories, but it didn't win by a crazy amount. You right. Know? Like the fit wasn't the way better; it was just a little bit better. You know, they and improved in a lot of areas, but they took a big step backwards, in our opinion, in one area. Mm -hmm. And that one area is one of the most important areas of the yep. shoe. Yep. You know, ventilation, aesthetics, those things don't really matter as much as, you know, cushion, fit, lockdown, support. So uh, on paper, this is the winner. In our hearts, it's the JC2. <laughs> yep. It the goes... JC2 will forever live in our hearts. Right here. You know? You know so. Um, yeah, the cushion, um, I was really disappointed in this. Um, you do get a lot of impact protection. You do feel uh, really high to the ground. Uh, not really high, but a lot higher than this, right? But yeah. in this, it's really crazy because you feel so low to the ground, but you get uh, bounciness and responsiveness and uh, impact protection, which is really weird. But uh, this cushion, I don't know why Brand Black did not use Jetlon again. But whatever, you know. It, it reminds me, Jetlon reminds me of a little bouncier boost right it's not as not nearly as um, mushy and soft as boost 
the impact protection isn't even near that, but it, it, it gives you some of that, but, but we'll still, we'll still giving you some balance and a little bit of firmness for, for response. Yeah. So that's it. That's our versus video. I hope we helped you guys uh, shed some light on these two shoes for you. Maybe you can make a better decision mm -hmm. as to your purchase. This is just our educated opinion. Yeah. And we've also, tried a ton of shoes. And, yeah. Uh, we've tried these two. And also this is $20 more. That's 160. This is 140. Right. So, um, whatever you like, um, I like the JC twos better. Um, uh, but I also like playing the JC3s. It you know? also kind of doesn't really matter because you can't even find the JC2s really. Yeah. Anymore. I mean, they're kind of on their website right now, but they'll probably just uh, get be sold out soon. Yeah. Yeah. So there it is. That's our latest versus video. That was the uh, brand black JC2 versus JC3. Uh, be sure to follow us up here, Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you like, subscribe, share it, and all that. Um, check us out on thesoulbros.com for. Uh, performance basketball news posts all that stuff mm -hmm. uh so anyways uh that's it my name is don really here. we are the soul brothers later peace